Well, that, that day was one of the first that I, that I decided to start to shoot photographs in Yemen. I arrived to the country on the 5th of October, and that was the 15th of, of October. So I spent like 10 days just uh, making all my networks of uh, contacts, like now in what's going on in the country and, and trying to, to meet people. So yeah, it was all the, all the streets were full of army. It was a lot of checkpoints everywhere. So I have to figure out how to cross these lines because I was staying in the, like I will say like the pro-government side. So I have to cross this, these checkpoints every day to go to the, to, the, to the square where it was all the revolutions. So that day it was, I leave my place at eight o'clock in the morning and I crossed the checkpoints. I, I was driving a motorbike with a, with a driver. So it was nice because they don't stop you when, when you go in motorbikes. So I was, and I look like kind of far up. <laughs> so with my camera like uh, under the, the, the suit jacket. Um, so we arrived to the square. It was like nine something in the morning. And the protest start, started through the main avenue in, in Sana. And suddenly, for no reason, we start to hear uh, shootings and, and people falling around us. So it were the snipers that they start to target people. And so then we ran back to the, to the square, to change the square. And when we were there, they start to shelling near the square, like with, with tanks. So then we ran into the hospital and uh, it was everything there. Like every people, everybody like picking up uh, bodies from the streets and bringing it to the, to the mosque and, and carrying wandering, wandered people to, to this mosque. I think after all, all what happened this year during the Arab Spring and all these revolutions and this unrest, um, I think this photo is a little bit different because it, it shows a really intimate uh, moment that some mother taking care of her, of her son. So I think for people here in our culture in the Western countries, it's really easy to get uh, connected with these kind of feelings. It's more easy that if you see a guy, a man with a Kalashnikov in the middle of the desert shooting somewhere, you know. That was a really tense moment, like really chaotic moment in the middle of a shooting, and it was shelling like really near the, the, the mosque that we were taking the photo. So yeah, you don't have the moment to, t to think about these things. This, this is like 20 seconds and in the middle of, of the chaos, like everybody was um, carrying people wounded to kill and everybody was yelling and everybody was really nervous, you know, because there was shootings everywhere. And yeah, so you don't have, I didn't have the time to think about this, these things, you know, like how he was naked or and how she was like completely covering the cap and what, what, the, what that mean, no? And yeah, but, but what is true is that when I chose to, 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 ha to take this photo, it was because Fatima, that is, is the name of the, of the woman, and she was the only person in all the room, in all the hospital, that she was completely quiet and calm. And it's not that important that we are in risks in, in our profession. Nobody's pushing us to, to do this job, you know, it's a, personal, it's a personal choice. And I don't really like, like people who are like, I don't know, like I'm a war photographer and this is a really dangerous job. And you choose to do this job and it's what, is it, what it is. And, and when we finish our job, we take a plane back home. And the, re the people who are really suffering the war is the people who stay there and have, now they are suffering all the transition in Yemen. And, so yeah, it's nothing important that we have to put in risk our life, no? Well, I, I started when I was 19. And I grew up in the suburbs of Barcelona, and my fathers were immigrants from the south. So I will say that it was not really easy to grow up there. So I get really involved since I was really young in political movements, like left, left wing movements. So I get really connected all the time with um, things that I, that I feel that they have to be documented. Like, I don't, I don't really like uh, assignments of one week somewhere or two weeks in Afghanistan and back home. I really like to go to the places and know the people and spend time with them. And so I, it's how I like to work. And I, I really need to, to feel that the, the things that I'm photographing, that the projects that I'm doing, I can get also like some kind of connection with them, you know? And so far I'm enjoying every day of my work. Of course you see like really strong things and really suffering and you suffer really bad moments but that it's compensated by all the other good things that you, that you live with, in the places that you go to work. No? Like for example, now in Germany, it was the most amazing experience in my life, really. It's so unfair because the people here have the, the opinion that Germany is a really dangerous place full of Islamists and Al-Qaeda and blah, blah, blah. 
And you go there and the people are just amazing with you. They are so nice and so, so, so nice people. So that's what I get back to my house when I when I back from Yemen. The photos are, yeah, it's work, but the, the real emotion that you bring from the country back to your house, and that's, that's a good point. So yeah, the award was announced on one Friday, and a friend of mine that is in Yemen, a journalist, a local journalist, he, he found them, uh, Fatima and Said. Uh, Fatima, she's uh, 36 years old, and Said is 18. He wants to be an engineer, so he's trying to study for that. So yeah, he, he was with them at home, and they called me, and they were like really excited to meet in person because they saw the photo in everywhere, well, especially in Al Jazeera. So they were really proud of that, and so I just take a plane like four or five days later, and I went to their house. It was a big house. There were 120 people from the family living together. <laughs> Everybody living together. Uh, yeah, it was amazing. Said came to me and he takes my hand and he gave me a hug and he was like almost crying and he told me, thank you for taking the risk of coming from your country that you have a good life. Thank you for coming to document our revolution. So that's the best. That's what you say, okay, now I remember why I'm doing that.